We were back on the trail of Noah. It wasn't hard to find the traces of the Red Battalion's passage through these lands. Death was all around us. Villages were burnt to the ground. The Stormtop Chapel might have been destroyed too. Vampire or not, I had the growing feeling that getting back the Seal of Blood was more important than whatever happened to me. I had heard of an old order of knights high up in these mountains. If they could not stop the army, the Blood Seal would be lost for all times. Lone, lost, and frightened human prey awaits. Here I come. Tomorrow that vampire scum? Strong ones, eh? <laughs> Being able to walk in daylight and all. That don't scare us a bit. We're not afraid anymore. You burnt our villages, you drank our blood, you will pay for that. Let us pass. These vampires are our enemies too. You're of the same race. That's enough for me to snap your necks. Sounds a bit indiscriminate, don't you think? Sounds just right for me. Now shut up and fight. Finish you off! Hold it, I'm a priest! You wouldn't touch a priest, would you? How can a priest have survived the vampire horde coming through? Ah, you've got me there. I was a priest, I meant to say. I made a pact with these... 
friendly people with the pointed teeth. Working for them now. Out of our way, or you'll die next. Very well. We might meet again later. Villagers build barricades. We need to find another way. the graves inside out and look for vampires. I don't give a damn if someone's grandpa's buried here.
I told you we would meet again. I would like you to give me the relic you just found. This will prevent the church from killing vampires. And your dear Bartholomew will never know. I will reward you with a ring worthy of a true vampire. Fine. Take the relic and give us the ring, vampire friend. It was a pleasure to do business with you, Jeremy Turncloak.